clicked on this video, unless you're illiterate, you want to make this procedural uh, rock texture that you can have on your grounds in your scenes that you can completely control by yourself. If so, watch this video because, well, I'm going to teach you. Delete cube. Add in a plane and scale it up. Go to the shading workspace and create a new material. Add in two wave textures. Add in a mapping node and plug the vector into the vector of one of the wave textures. Duplicate the mapping node and plug it into the other vector of the wave texture. Then add in a texture coordinates and plug in generated into both of the mapping nodes. Add in a mix RGB node. Put both wave textures into the mix node and then plug the mix node into the base color of the principal BSDF. Now you got some lines. And change the mix to a multiply node. Change the rotation on one of the mapping nodes for the wave texture. Do about 90 degrees even though you could probably get some pretty cool patterns if you do it differently. Turn the scale up on the wave textures just a bit to get a little bit more rocks I guess you could say. Now change the distortion to about 10 on each wave texture. Right here I'm adding in a color ramp and putting it uh, in front of the multiply node and then changing it to constant and dragging that white all the way down to the corner. Now you can see we're starting to get some rock-like formations, which is exactly what we want. As you can see right here, I'm adding in the displacement node and plugging in that um, color ramp into the height of the displacement and plugging displacement into, well, you guessed it, displacement. Add in another mix RGB node and use that height map you just made with the color ramp and use it as the fact for the mix RGB. Now you're going to change the color of each thing in the mix RGB to get the, the rocks to be a little bit brighter than the things under it. To add a bit more displacement, grab a mix RGB node and put it in between the color ramp and the displacement map. And then grab a noise texture and plug that into the mix RGB node. Make sure to turn the detail up on the noise texture and play around with the fact of that mix, uh, with that mix node, because then you could get some pretty funky results. added a uh, brightness and contrast and turned the brightness down a bit just so you could still capture the rocks going upwards a bit more than the noise texture we just added. To get more like smooth edges on the rocks you can change constant to ease if you want. Now if you want to get really high detail subdivide the plane a bunch. Now change the render engine to cycles and instead of using supported change it to experimental. Go to the material tab on your right, scroll down to settings, and change uh, the bump map, bump only, change it to displacement and bump. Now you can see you've got a really high scale displacement map, which looks really weird, so what you're going to do is in your node network, you're going to change the scale down on your displacement node to about something like 0 0.01 or 0 0.03, whatever, whatever satisfies you. To go the extra mile, add in a subdivision surface modifier because that'll create some really high detail. Just a warning though, it might really slow down your computer as well. As you can see, I added my own little custom roughness thing. You don't have to do that, it's a bit more complicated and not as necessary. But as you can see here, I'm playing around with the wave settings to kind of display how the rocks are procedural. And once you shade smooth this baby, it's ready for rendering. I added another color ramp and changed the brightness settings around to get a more uh, reflectiveness on the rocks and less reflectiveness on the concrete below the rocks. Not gonna lie, it still looks pretty good in Eevee too. 
I really hope my video helped out, and I want to just say thank you for watching.